1910, Korea lost its sovereignty to Japan and was occupied for 36 years. The Korean people resisted Japanese imperialism and read the March 1st movement in 1919, fighting for independence and establishing a provisional government in Shanghai, China. In 1945, following Japan's defeat and subsequent withdrawal, the newly formed Republic of Korea recognized the 1919 provisional government as its founding in its constitution. We, the Korean people, proud of our rich history and traditions, uphold the regal legacy of the provisional government of the Republic of Korea, established through the March 1st movement. Those who view 1948 as the founding of the Republic of Korea, rather than just the establishment of its government, have gained prominence under the Yoon suk yeol administration. They argue that Korea was modernized during the Japanese imperial occupation and are often regarded as a domestic pro-Japanese faction. They call themselves the New Right, new conservatives similar to the neocon in the United States. 1948년, this is Kim hyung suk a new right figure who recently became president of the Independence Hall of Korea, and he's not the only newcomer. Under Yoon suk yeols government, the heads of state-funded historical institutions, including the Academy of Korean Studies, the Northeast Asian History Foundation, and the National Institute of Korean History are mostly of the same background. The Heritage of Korean Independence, HKI, swiftly opposed Kim's appointment. Formed by Korean independence veterans, their survivors, and descendants, the HKI is the only public law organization of independence patriots recognized by the Korean government and receives substantial state subsidies. The Heritage of Korean Independence demanded that the President's office revoke the appointment of a new right figures as President of Independence Hall, but their demand was denied. Consequently, on August 15, 2024, the 79th National Liberation Day celebration organized by the Heritage of Korean Independence was held separately from the government's event. Lee Jung Chan, a former conservative lawmaker and grandson of an independence activist, spoke with a trembling voice. Meanwhile, at the other simultaneous event, President Yoon suk yeol criticized sectarianism. 선동과 날조로 국민을 편갈라 그 틈에서 이익을 누리는 데만 집착할 따름입니다. In fact, the new rights claim to the 1948 founding is not even acknowledged by their admirer Lee Seung Man, the first president of the Republic of Korea. Unlike figures like Kim Gu and Yeo Eun Hyung, who fought for independence in Korea and China, Lee was based in the United States and was removed from the provisional government of South Korea for dividing the independence movement. Though he became the first president of South Korea after the government was established, Lee opposed purging the past and reinstated those who had served Japanese imperialism, leading to the suppression of independence activists. Lee seung man is revered by new right figures for sparing the pro-Japanese, including the presidents of the Independence Hall in question, who claims that some people are unfairly listed in a pro-Japanese biographical dictionary created by a South Korean history research group. Chinese 
Since taking office, President Yoon has attempted to remove a bust of General Hong Bom-do, an independent hero from Korea's military academy, and has sought to obscure the fact that Japanese imperialism forcibly mobilized South Koreans, including at the Sado Mine, while neglecting Japan's reparations to victims of forced labor. Many South Koreans have questioned whether President Yoon is committed to setting the curse of history and advancing national interest against Japan. He blames fake news. Kim Tae-hyo, the first deputy director of the National Security Office, NSO, at the presidential office, made this statement regarding Korea-Japan historical issues. The important thing is the heart of the The remarks caused a frenzy in South Korean society. This is because it overturned a ruling by the South Korean Constitutional Court, the country's highest constitutional body, which mandated that the government must fulfill its obligation to protect the safety and property of its citizens, an obligation it failed to uphold during the Japanese occupation. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs is reportedly seeking to elevate other organizations of independence movement descendants to public law status, similar to the HKI, seemingly as a means of penalizing it for disagreeing with President Yoon. One year has passed since nuclear contaminated water was discharged in neighboring Japan. The UN administration, which has consistently refrained from criticizing Japan, along with its aligned conservative media, has actively condemned the opposition and environmental NGOs that have raised concern about the dangers of the contaminated water. Is this a country where Japanese imperialism has resurfaced?